Well, hello, and welcome back to another interesting installment episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yes. And we are out at the new um, airstrip. So today we're going to also tutorialize a mod called Gates. So let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. Here's the Gates mod. Right click to initiate. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna get some, um, hmm. Since I don't want, I wanna build this twice. I've been playing with it in my test world and have been pretty successful. You could also hook up Misecons to this. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put it there because I can hide it. There we go. I can hide it with a, um, I can hide it with something. <laughs> yes. Hopefully it's not going to be that difficult. So what I'm going to do is I wanna make a door and the door, it's a huge door. So you have to build the gates twice to make this work. Um, ooh, I can't use that because I have to use that. No matter. So we are going to put some, oh no. No, we can make this look perfect. Okay, so we'll, what we are going to do here is we're going to add these across. And one, two, we're going to go 12. And I'm doing this to make it, there we go, 12, to go quicker. Um, because I am a very slow builder. So now what we're going to do, so this is our gate closed. Now what we have to figure out is our gate open. So one, two, three, four. This is going to be our gate open. However, um, we have to mark our gate close position and then we have to build our gate open. So, hmm, I'm trying, uh, I want to try something out here. I may not do what I want. So let's go one here and this is completely experimental. So one, two, three, four. I have to be right there. And it has to be dead air. So let's see if I can pull this off. Choose position two here. Nope. I need one more. Because, well, do I? Yeah, I do. Let's try this again. Um, I want it. There we go. It went right up to there. Okay, so we have four. So now we have to remember, this is going to remember the position that our controller can see. So we go here, we right click on it, we click next. We're going to read the last position from world edit, or you can manually set your positions and you could, you could like, um, punch a node to, to read the last node. So do you want to build a gate closed? We're going to start with the closed one. Okay. And that's our closed gate. So we click next. Wonderful. Now you have to build a gate open. Okay. So let's uh, reset region. I hope that will not play a, um, a factor in this or else this is going to be a big, a big fail. So how's everybody doing? We had a huge snowstorm in Chicago. Not as bad as, uh, I mean, they were closing things down. So on Friday night, um, 
or on Thursday night, we had a, a school function roller skating thingy my daughter wanted to go to, and I haven't skated in a couple of years. And even and before that, it was like, like 35 years <laughs> since I skated. And, um, my daughter finally figured out how to skate with the help of some friends that were there and some just doing it. And yeah. So now we we're building the gate open. So we are going to go four. But it was a huge, um, the problem was the snowstorm coming in. So right after this thing ended at 8 o'clock, it, it started snowing. But we didn't get really hit with what they said we were. Okay, so now we're going to take one and two, and we're going to go this, uh, we're going to stack this 12... And this is going to be our gate open. So here's hoping that I didn't mess this up. Click next. Okay. So that's our gate open. We have, so it looks like I want to reset this just to make sure, just to give it a nice clean. That's open. So we click on it, click closed. Look at that. Oh my. Click open. Yes. Ugh. I am five cans short of a six pack. Look at that. Now, if I really took the time and I didn't have this go all the way to the edge, I could have made some kind of railing up here, but you know what? This looks cool. Now, this opens up a whole bunch of possibilities. Now, it looks ugly. Well, it, it looks ugly in this instance. So, I need to figure out how to hide this. So, we click it. We can do here. And boom. Never click uh, startup. Because that won't be good. Now, this also has Misicon's potential. So let, let us see what we can do here real quickly here. And uh, Misicons. I don't know if a push button is going to work. And we want a vertical Misicon? Nah, doesn't matter. Does not matter. And... What I was also thinking about doing was a proximity to make it an automatic gate. You know, that, we could do a stone pressure plate too. How would I do that? Let's, let's experiment here because let's take a pressure plate. The pressure plate won't work. Okay, you gotta be careful because once you, once you get rid of that, it, there's no coming back. So let's take a push button, and I want to put a push button on the wall here because all right, this is this is only a test. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna take a push button and let's see if we can't get that to do something here. My my Misicon skills are um, my Misicon skills are a little lacking right now. That should have went all the way through. Not lighting anything up. Why aren't you lighting anything up? Okay, let's see if I can. I'm doing something, doing something wrong here. So we can see it's not what I wanted. Huh? Gate, gate opened. 
No kidding. This is bad. All right. Uh, I'm done fooling around with this stuff here. I'm done. That's not what I wanted. Okay. That's all connected. Let's see if... It's not... There's something wrong with this push button. What's not going on here? It's not doing the bottom part. Why aren't doing the bottom part? I just want to see if this will work. It says it should. There we go. But it won't work. All right. You know what we're going to do, though? We're going to try it with... Um, we're going to try it with a latch. Because I, I'm obviously doing something wrong here. There we go. Let's get rid of this. And... We're going to put a lever. Now it showed, the direction showed. The, the direction showed having Misecons hooked up like this. So let us see. I don't know. Vertical? Or is... Okay. Hmm. Let's try that. Maybe that's what's missing. There we go. We got it to work. Ah, look at that. I'm artistic with misicons. Holy cow. Oh, wait a minute. What did I just do? Okay, so apparently it has to go there. You know what? I didn't like that anyway. So what I want to do is I actually want... I want to use a controller. Okay, so we got that. I want to use a, a proximity controller. So here we want we're no detector, player detector. That's what I want. So let's get rid of that. We're gonna do a player detector. I love using these. However, let's see if it'll close. Look at that, it closed. It opened. So how far do I have to be Look at that. Are we rocking or what? All right. So, so what we have to do here is, huh? I wonder if it'll work if I put, Okay, that did that. Nope, it's got to be right next to it. Now, that, that brings up a thing. Um, I wonder if I can move the gate controller. In other words, if I can just copy it, because this, it works. You, you know, and, and I read somewhere that in the new Misicons, um... Let's see if it let, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. In the new Misicons, that, now it won't let me in. Now it will, which is going to cause a problem because I need to get my airplane in here. I have to hook it up to a switch. I have to figure out, I have to figure out how to hook it up to a switch. Because the player detector works fine. And if I take... Oh, I don't know. I want to take a lever. And 
where's my lover at? My gosh, I'm looking right at it. There's my lover. It would have been nice if I could have got a pressure plate to work with it. I don't see why not. I don't know why the pressure plate wouldn't work. However, the pressure, the pressure plate is only a momentary. So if we take this, this is going to look ugly. But, you know, so I'll have to figure out how to... Um, I will have to figure out some way of hiding it. I've done this before. Why, why am I having such a hard problem? A hard, a hard time with trying to get this all to work. Okay. So let's see what, what, what does it want? There we go. All right. Close my door. So that will work. Now I just have to figure out, maybe I can put in like a controller box or something. I can hide it. Let's go get our aeroplane because I have a funny feeling. I have a funny feeling. Come on, go back. Go back. You'll go forward. Okay, we'll go forward and I want to make sure that this isn't going to mess with my gate okay do I have did I leave enough room for doesn't matter there's that there's that pretty awesome I'm gonna move forward a little bit so now because back here is going to be all um, tools and stuff like that and it's closed and it's open. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to take that switch. And I can basically bury it anywhere I want. To make this look uh, good. And have that reach it. But that look at that, folks. So that's your gate controller. And we have the gate in the up position and the gate in the lower position. And how we did that, to recap, is we I started with my closed. I wanted to build my closed. So I ended up selecting this bottom glass and the area over here, the, so that entire area. So whatever is in this area that I selected that's my gate closed. And then on the gate open, we removed all these glass and we put, we had the glass up here in that big, huge box, that, that world edit box. And that's how the gate door open should be. And I could have really, I used those right here to act like a, a door. But you know what? This looks really, really good. Even, you know, just as is even though I didn't really plan. And there you have it. Or, you know, you could just, you know, click on there and toggle open, hit escape, click on there, toggle closed, hit escape. It'll work like that. Or you can hook up Misicons to it too. So there you have it. That is cool. And you can also hook up a player detector. Now, the thing about the player detector is... um. You have to get it just right. Now, there was, I'm wondering if I, I, I can't remember if I could hook up a Misicon to a player detector. I'm going to have to work on that because I could have, I could have hidden a player or a player detector over here that wired into the, into here. And all I'm going to do for that is I'm going to take a block and I'm just going to cover that up. So, like that. But I'm, I'm going to take like a sliver. And that's going to take care of that. 
So that's going to make that look exactly the way I want. You might see a... Okay. You might see a little um, part of the floor. You know, it's raised up a little bit, but that looks a lot better than having your stone tile and then this, or having misicons and this. Or I can build a little box around this, like a controller box. Uh, that's I've done that before too, over in my um, over in my secret facility. Yeah. So there, there you have it. That's going to be that. And there's a lot of cool uses for that. Um, one of the other. This is going to be a lounge up here. One of the other things about, um, like we have ghost stones where you hook up a switch to it and the, the stones will disappear. But I like this because this gate controller allows you to have a door in the closed position. And then when you click it open, you can simulate the door opened. So it, it's just that much more realistic. And then you can do your role playing, you know, drive your airplane out, do whatever you want to do. So there, that's going to do it. Um, very cool, uh, a mod tutorial, this is Gates. And all like always, all the description to all the mods that I use will be in the show notes, show description, and on my website where you can upload pictures. So, of your builds, and I will highlight them. Yes. And in the next episode, I'm going to finish the runway. Look at that. And you can use whatever material you want to use. So the, the possibilities are really endless. I mean, you could take anything from, um, we could, we could have took bars, you know, and created, whoop, and created, you know, like a real cool door where this is the door closed and then you could have it like theoretically slide over and this is the door open by clicking on that. So there's a lot of really cool things that now that I fully understand how that mod works, <laughs> we could make it work. So thank you for joining me. Um, if you like, please like, share, subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. Leave your comments below and we will go from there. Open. Closed. Very nice. All right. So everybody have a warm, safe, dry week. And until next episode, goodbye.